Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma, and this is your Dose of Dharma for today. From now on, we will talk about random questions uh, that uh, people ask and uh, talk about random topics. Okay, so there's one question. It says, Oh, Bande, the Buddha taught us to be kind and to have loving kindness for everyone. But what if people take advantage of our kindness? What if, like, if somebody bullies us in the workplace? Then, how should we report to our supervisors? Because they say that we should love them, right? So, if we report to our supervisors, definitely they may be blamed, they may they may be uh, penalized, and then it starts. And then after that, they may start to take revenge and all that, and it makes everything very complicated. So, one day, how? What should we do? So, in this case, uh, it's actually on how we're going to live out loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and uh, equanimity, the four Brahma Viharas. Hmm? And also, how do we work? What are the, our considerations, whether we should or should not report? Okay. So first thing first, whenever we meet up with these kind of things, and we will meet up with these kind of things, this part of samsara, <laughs> part of the package. Yeah? Welcome to samsara. <laughs> first thing that we have to develop is compassion for ourselves and compassion for the other party because you are encountering all the injustice and all the unfairness that uh, you are being treated with then definitely because of them uh, doing this to you then they are actually planting the seed Planting what seeds? Planting the karma seeds for themselves to be bullied in the future. So whatever that you are experiencing, they will experience it to a certain degree in the future. Right? So, and they're so happy about it, you know. <laughs> they're happy that they're creating causes of suffering. Wow, well done, right? <laughs> so, actually, when we contemplate like this, it gives, it gives us a lot of uh, softness in the mind to have compassion for them it's like they are drinking poison and they are very happy that they are drinking poison which will poison them in the future yeah? so when we think like this we can arise compassion for them we can arise compassion for ourselves because um, there's, there is no because of cause uh, because of the law of cause and effect there is no causeless effect so definitely there is some co- there, are, there will be a cause or causes for this effect, uh, this phenomenon that is happening to you now. Maybe we have bullied others in the past. Yeah, so that's why uh, when we contemplate like this, it helps us to be able to accept this undesirable and uncomfortable phenomenon and arise compassion for ourselves and for the other part. Sometimes I would like to I also like to suggest uh, some people to contemplate uh, and send compassion in this way so that let those who let those who hurt and those who are being hurt uh, be free from suffering and committing causes of suffering. The causes causes of suffering means greed, hatred and delusion and whatever unwholesomeness, okay? Uh, like that, no? So this is one way. So when, when we, after we, after we have purified our mind and make sure our mind is in a compassion state or in a wholesome state, uh, then we ask ourselves whether we should report or not to report. Actually, there's no definite answer for this, you know. But what is it? What are the things that we have to consider whether we report or not to report? First is the cause and effect. Okay. We have to apply cause and effect uh, even at the grosser level uh, as a consideration we are considering whether to report or not to report okay so very easy we just just con- contemplate that oh if we report this will they uh, will they will they stop them or will they get even uh, more arrogant and uh, get even more triggered and there will be no end to all these kinds of uh, unwholesome deeds hmm? like that and so with with compassion as the cause uh, with compassion as the intention 
then we can decide hmm, in terms of cause and effect and wholesome and unwholesomeness. When I report, is it gonna, uh, is it gonna arise more wholesomeness or unwholesomeness? Like that. And when, if I don't report, am I gonna get more wholesomeness and unwholesomeness? We so, we also contemplate about wholesomeness and unwholesomeness as one of the very important factors to consider. Hmm? Like that, huh? And so there's no fixed way. So the, the considerations are cause and effect. Uh, we we need to put in right causes, which is a non greed, non hatred, and non delusion, and also to consider whether uh, it will make make them uh, arise more unwholesomeness or unwholesomeness, and for us unwholesome wholesomeness and unwholesomeness, and also uh, to make things and one one principle also to consider is making things better or at least not make it worse, right? So some examples: if you report and they become more and more arrogant, eh? more and more arrogant and all that. Then, and it doesn't solve the problem. Alright? Then, you know, then we have to consider, okay, in this kind of a situation, um, is there a possibility that I can try to understand why they are behaving in this way? You know, um, wait for some, uh, ask about some people, ask from some people around him, around him or her, and then, and then just ask, say, hey, um, just try to understand. Huh? Maybe they have had a bad childhood. Maybe they they have had a, a a terrible experience when they first came into this line. You know, so we can try to understand. Yeah, try to understand what is the cause of the problem. When we know the cause of the problem, then maybe we can, uh, uh without reporting them, uh, work on. Helping them to solve uh, the cause of the problem, hmm? like that. But sometimes, if they if they really need uh, if they really need uh, some people to remind them that they are, what they do is wrong, uh, then okay, then maybe we can report it. After reporting, uh, then maybe they may stop their their unwholesome ways, and it is possible too. Yeah, like that. So there's no fixed way, but. We follow the principles, okay? Then you may you may say, oh, Gandhi. Then how if I report and he gets worse and worse, worse and worse? Huh? Then then you really have to huh? then you really have to see huh? work out something huh, with your fellow colleagues or maybe your boss uh, to see huh, what you can do. If they if I mean in reality they are not obliged. Uh, to help you, right? <laughs> yes, yes, they're your colleague. Yes, yes, they're your boss. But uh, in a way, they may not be obliged to help you, right? According to their understanding. So then we have to consider, okay, for this job, uh, whether is it uh, necessary for me to keep this job? And if it is, then okay, then we at least then at least we try to react uh, with a. Uh, uh, with a positive uh, reaction, uh? and don't let their bullying uh, be the source of uh, our, our happiness. Uh? That means don't let it affect our happiness. Uh? And sometimes we can keep a record of our work and send to your supervisor or your boss uh, like that. Yeah, and yeah, just try to you know uh, for the whole when we consider the whole situation. Try to make things better or at least not make it worse. Like that. And if really, really, uh, the, the whole situation comes down to a very, very toxic environment and he's bullying you and, uh, and there's nobody to help you and all that, then you have to consider whether you really want to keep this job or not. Because ultimately, if you're under such a tox, if you're working in, in such a toxic workplace, then it may uh, it may not be healthy for you in the long run, right? So like this. But if your if your livelihood depends on this, uh, then uh, you can find uh, we can find ways and means uh, to wholesome ways and means uh, to deal with it. For example, the Buddha during uh, the Bodhisattva times, even when people are coming here to take over his kingdom, 
So because of compassion for his people, so he just say, if they want my kingdom, okay, let them take it. And sometimes the invaders, they are they are converted eh, by the Bodhisattva's compassion and loving kindness. And then they return eh, the kingdom to the Bodhisattva. And then after that, they even help to protect eh, the kingdom of the Bodhisattva because they know that he this is a righteous king. Hmm? Like that. Eh? So sometimes also, we may be able to move them eh, with our virtue and the value that we bring to the workplace also. So this is uh, also one way. Uh, but but there are some instances where the Bodhisattva actually died because of upholding the Dharma principle. As disciples of the Buddha, hmm, this is one thing that uh, we have to practice if we really want to be wholesome people. That is, if uh, uh, I die, if I lose my job uh, abiding this Dharma principle, then okay, so be it like that. So we we cannot be afraid of uh, um, sacrifices like that. Huh? But of course, huh, if if really really huh, uh, you're stuck in the job and you don't have a place to go and it's really stressful and all that, then at least huh, we learn how to manage our stress, our mental distress huh, when we have to face them. Because you know. Life is like that. It's not like we always will not meet with problems. Life has its own sets of problems. People also have their own sets of problems. So when we meet with life and people, sometimes there will be problems. And we will have our own problems too. So that's why the practice of loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy and equanimity is pretty helpful. Or uh, when we meet up with this kind of these kinds of things like that. Hmm? Okay, no? So and also if uh, that if this job uh, is really toxic, then and you you cannot go to another. You, there's no other job outside. Then at least try to improve on ourselves. Try to take up some part-time courses. And, uh, there are many online courses now. Take out some part-time courses, and then after that, uh, make more friends. Practice, sometimes practice generosity, and not only to the the people that you like in the workplace, but also to the people you don't like in the workplace. But of course, you will see if you if you offer them, uh, if you buy them a cup of tea and they take advantage of you and all that, then not necessary to buy for them next time because you know that it's going to in, incite a negative response from them. Yeah, but if sometimes actually generosity will help to change uh, a person's uh, and feelings of uh, animosity and enmity towards us also. Yeah? So generosity can also be can also be practiced here uh, in this case. Hmm? But of course we we'll have to see whether they are whether they are worthy or not of that generosity. Yeah? If they react in a bad way, that means they're not uh, they're not really. Uh, uh, be worthy eh, of that generosity. Okay, so few things eh, uh, to summarize: compassion for ourselves and the other party, then with cause and effect, wholesome and unwholesome, and making things better or at least not making things worse. These three principles eh, as our guiding principles, then we can see and calculate and analyze the situation whether to do or not to do, to report or not to report, to report later or report now, or there are some other ways we, which we might be able to do in order to relate to this kind of phenomena, then uh, uh, hopefully uh, everyone will also uh, be able to solve this kind of um, phenomena. Okay? And one more thing, uh, one more thing is when, because of Maybe we have bullied others in the past, so we are bullied now. Then sometimes uh, we can volunteer, go and volunteer in some working groups where it deals with workplace bullying and try to be a volunteer there, maybe help out some things, help out some of the administrations and all that and get to know more people there. And actually, provide when you provide help to people who have been bullied, then you know 
this kinds of like also help us to create the karma, create the karma to not be bullied in the future also. When we help others to avoid bullying or to 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 be able to face bullying with a with a positive mind, not let it stress them out. Yeah, then this in a way uh, is a helpful karma also. So we are, in this way we are using karma uh, to help us get through this kind of phenomena. Alright? Hopefully the sharing today is beneficial to all of you. And I wish all of you to be well, peaceful and happy and may the Shopa Jam bless all of us to be able to attain path, creation and nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.